Hi everyone, Trinity from Be Rich Financial here. Today, we'll learn how to create an ID.me account and access your identity protection PIN, IP PIN from the IRS. Before we begin, make sure you have a valid email address, one that's secure, an unexpired government issued ID, driver's license, state ID, or passport, your social security number, a smartphone or computer with a camera, internet access, time for verification during business days and hours, Monday through Friday, nine to five. What is ID.me? ID.me is a secure platform used by the IRS, other government agencies, and many businesses to verify your identity and fight fraud. Step one, go to Google and search for IRS sign-in. Make sure it's the official IRS website, not a scam. Click that link to get to the IRS sign-in page. Step two, on the IRS page, click sign in. You'll see two options, sign in with an existing ID.me account or create a new account if you don't have one. Step three, if you're creating a new account, enter your email address and create a strong password. Then click create account. Step four, you'll get a confirmation email from ID.me with a link or code. In this example, we'll type the confirmation code on the ID.me website. Step five, next set up two-factor authentication for extra security. You can choose text message, phone call, or an app. We'll use the ID.me Authenticator app in this example. Step six, download and sign in to the ID.me Authenticator app using your email and password. The app will ask, is this you? Confirm by clicking yes. This completes the two-factor authentication setup. Step seven, now you'll be asked to upload a picture or video selfie along with the front and back of your ID. It will take about 15 seconds to verify your identity. Once you select either the selfie or video conference option for ID.me, a screen will appear prompting you to provide a phone number. ID.me will use this number to send you a link. 
allowing you to upload your ID and selfies or join the video call. Follow the prompts on your phone screen, which will guide you to take pictures of the front and back of your ID. This process should take about 15 seconds to verify. Shortly after, you will either be asked to upload selfies or be directed to a video interview. Congratulations! If you've made it this far, you've successfully created an ID.me account. This gives you direct sign-in access to the IRS, other government agencies, and even some businesses. Step eight, once verified, go back to the IRS website, click sign in and log in with your new email and password. Complete the secondary verification step using your preferred method. Step nine, after you're logged in, you'll see options like account balance, payments, records and status, and notices and letters. To find your IP PIN, click on notices and letters. The IRS issues the IP PIN by mail and digitally during the first month of the new year. If you don't see it by then, you may need to apply for one. If you need other tax records like transcripts or return history, go to the records section. Here, you can find transcripts of your wages, income, or tax returns filed. If you can't verify your identity through ID.me, you can call the IRS at 1-800-908-4490 to request your IP PIN. However, during tax season, wait times can be long and it can take up to 21 days to receive your PIN by mail. The IRS won't provide the IP PIN over the phone.